So today we'll see how to download a program using Xilinx 9.2i on this FPGA board. Now this is your FPGA board. You should remember the number of that IC. That IC number is XC3S500E and its package is FG320. So let us follow the regular procedure of creating any new project. We are creating a new project. Now in this window you can focus that we are specifically giving the details of IC which is there existing on board. Now in this board first product category we are selecting all family Spartan 3E because that FPGA belongs to family Spartan 3E. The particular device is XC3S 500E. So as I told you 500 is the number of programmable cells inside that FPGA and then FG320 is flat grid packaging with 320 number of IO pins available for user. So let us go ahead with this information. We are building a VHDL module for OR gate. This is a very small code so we need not to simulate it before downloading. We can very well understand that it can get executed easily. Now see till this we can do in a regular manner save all then we have to enter the pins and package. Now you will see in this process window there are some user constraints. There is another option here, assign package pins, double click on that. It will open a different window called Xilinx space. It is actually a different patch for assigning these pins. You can see here a list of input and output variables comes automatically because it takes a reference from the code which you have written here in Xilinx editor window and then it will list all those input and output variables here. Now I'll have to enter the actual number of pin. As I said there are 320 number of pins among that I have to choose the one which I can use as input. So there are some pins here connected to the switches and you can see at the bottom of these switches there are some numbers L13, L14, H18. Can you see that? L13, L14 and H18 and so on. Similarly there are LEDs. For LEDs also we have numbers like F12, E12 and so on. So we have to assign these numbers here. So A and B are the inputs. I am assigning L13 to one of the input, L14 to another input and F12 to output. F12 is the first right hand side LED. Just save it. Now as soon as we save that, 
you can see there is a layout architecture view of the same FPGA. You can see here the name XC3S 500E FG320. Minus 4 is the speed grade. Here you can see if you zoom, there are two blue dots appeared which were not there earlier here. Similar to that, one blue dot here. What are these? These are actually the pin numbers which we have selected. You just put in the cursor and it will show information. This is what? A. Variable A with pin number L14. B. Pin number L13. And this one is C. That means your output variable F12. This is architecture view and this is the package view. Package means flat grid means all four sides will have the pins and these are the cells which we are supposed to program. Till now we have not downloaded any program in the kit. So here we can see if we put the cursor the same way variable A this is my variable B and this is variable C assigned to F12. Do you understand this? Then we already saved. Close it and as soon as we save the file here you can see a different file with extension UCF user constraints file will be created. Okay, this is user constraints file with the same name. There are different steps. Till now we have not even simulated the program. We simply wrote it, we assigned the pins. Before downloading, we have to synthesize this code. Synthesize means the programming language contents will be converted into a net list. Net means a network where many things are connected together. Now the next step is we have to implement the design. Inside implement also there are three different steps. First is translate, map, place and route. In translate actually the netlist which I was talking about this code will get converted into that netlist and then to the bit file, bit format. In map let us double click this and step by step it starts implementing the design. In translate this VHDL language will get translated into hardware understandable format. In mapping like the way we search any uh, place on the map we just locate at how much distance one particular place is situated from our own distance. So we simply identify the same way here the programming cells are mapped inside that FPGA. In place and route, now we identified that for example Pune is so many kilometers from Ashta and we have to travel from Ashta to Pune and this is the distance, this is the tentative time required once we identify that. Then what is the thing? We have to travel from Ashta to this. So I must know the route, I must know the road. So such kind of routing, once my variable A, B and C are placed inside this FPGA, then I must show the path to A and B to travel from A and B till C after programming. That thing will happen in place and route. Then the last stage is configure device. Let us click on, double click on configure device and it starts processing. 
there is another window automatically get opened impact impact is another patch connected to xilinx it is used for downloading the program into hardware now we simply have to go with the first automatically selected option configure device using boundary scan jtag jtag is nothing but joint test action group which created a standard and following that standard the bitstream is getting downloaded in hardware so automatically the cable will be identified and the program will be downloaded click on finish now this window will get opened it asks us this is my bit file which was generated in my translate step we have not done anything for that so the tool takes care of the design to convert it into a bit file simply select say open then we don't have to download any other file so click on bypass bypass two times so you can see there are three different devices on this board on which we can download a program now if you remember i told you that there is one fpga xc3s 500d one memory device and one cpld in which we can download a program now here if you see carefully this one or 12 dot bit the one which we have downloaded just now this is the same file which we have downloaded just now into the fpga exist only for this and for this ic we clicked on bypass for this ic also we clicked on bypass right click on this device click on program program succeeded means now the program is successfully downloaded into the kit and you can see another led is glowing now it indicates the program is only downloaded now see for executing this program this is a or gate if you recall the truth table of or gate what it shows this is a this is b this switch is a this switch is b if any one of the input is high then my output is going to be high and output will be low only when both the inputs are low so you can see the led is not glowing when both the inputs are low so it completely follows the truth table